What is up, everybody? I am Rhino GT4, and this is Let's Play Gran Turismo 6. Finally, gonna be a lot of things different going on here, and also I fucked up my intro a little bit because I forgot to mention YouTube Gaming anyone and everyone watching this live on YouTube Gaming and Twitch. But yeah, it's time for Gran Turismo 6. Just off the heels of completing Gran Turismo 5, because. I want to finish the main six, damn it, so, fuck it. We're doing this now, plus it's a short game, so. Welcome to Gran Turismo 6, greetings from the GT Association. Our mission to help you reach your highest potential as a race car driver. Let's get started. Your name box of survival, start your journey. Let's do this, so. Hooray, we get to input our name, which is actually going to be a, a little more annoying because I'm inputting it with my wheel. But... As always, I'm gonna use my actual name because I don't give a fuck. So let me just uh, type that shit in there. <laughs> yeah, anyways, tutorial. So yeah, it's GT6. And here comes all the fucking memes. Who wins GT6? Ha ha ha. Anyways, proceed with these details. And we get thrown right into. Something brand new for the GT series, a fucking tutorial. Because why not? Because tutorials are cool, right? Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, this is Brands Hatch, one of Britain's legendary tracks, side of many key moments in racing history. Ooh. Try your hand at a track day, get a taste of what it feels like to drive a car, drive on a real racetrack. Oh man, I've been driving all those fake tracks before. We'll be putting you behind the wheel of a Renault Sport Clio RS. Try to get a feel for how the car handles and moves. The driving line is displayed on the track. Use it as a guide to take a quick and efficient way around the course. When the line turns red, means you need to hit the brakes. If you don't, bad things will happen. <gasps> oh no. The sign buttons are displayed on the lower left of the screen. Be sure to review them carefully. It doesn't matter to me because I'm using the wheel, goddammit. Take a lap, see how you do. Stay focused, learn track as you go. Good luck. Alright, here we go. So yeah, we have a fucking tutorial. Holy shit. Also, I have a completely fucking different recording setup here, and I'm hoping everything is uh, perfectly fine. I'm not gonna bother reading everything here. It's it is basically telling you how to car. So, yeah. And stuff. I know how to car. So, there's that. But yeah. Normally, how I used to record was I um, had my Game Capture HD software for my Elgato, and recorded that, recorded my commentary separately, edited all that shit together in Sony Vegas, and, um, yeah, but to try to make things a little less time-consuming and a little less strain on my computer, I'm actually recording directly with OBS, so basically what I'm doing is I have my Elgato being, like, put straight into OBS instead of doing a window capture. I hope I got a good enough micro microwave. Wow. I hope my, uh, have this shit, uh, synced properly. I, I, I did a little, like, video syncing test, and I hope it, uh, was correct. And, uh, getting audio, like the game audio, uh, make sure it's not too loud or too soft, so probably be working on that while I figure this shit out, which is cool, as we go through this fucking tutorial, because goddammit, yes I am using component, oh jeez, but uh, man I go off track, alright, so yeah, there's that, it's also uh, <clears throat> only thing that kind of sucks about this is Video quality is going to be a little lower, and it's only going to be 720p videos, max, instead of 1080, like I've been doing with recent LPs that weren't Gran Turismo. But, um, yeah, and, uh, I did, I did that little uh, video quality test last night, and everyone approved of it, so I guess it looked good, to, good enough to, uh, Fucking be, yeah, uploaded to the internet. 
So thrilled that I finished the story. Yay! Also, Brands Hatch, new circuit in the uh, GT series. Oh, yeah. So, what a run. Good job. Would I like to try again? Fuck no. So, there we go. That was the first uh, tutorial of Gran Turismo. And just, uh. Anyways, completed track day. Great job as reward, giving you some credits to get you started. 30,000 to be exact. Use the credits to buy your first car. And another thing about this game is it forces you to buy the uh, Honda Fit as your first car, no matter what. So, yeah, there we go. Honda Fit hype. And we have some colors available. Gonna have to get used to these uh, new menus after playing GT5 so fucking much. So yeah, the game holds your hand immensely at the beginning here. It's really fucking annoying. But hey, it's whatever. It's whatever. So, um... Stuff. Yeah. Let's use this car. Congrats on buying your first car! Performance point rating thing. Honda Fizz, 350 PP. Ugh. Yeah, the RCR car. Stuff. Huge dealerships offer a huge range of cars. You know, about 1200 ish, you know. Something like that. There's also recommended cars based on class. And there's, there's just a bunch of fucking cars. And also, I have the game updated to its most recent version, which is 1.22, so yay. And here's a thing about the SRT Tomahawk. Which is cool. Now, let's get down to business. In first race, go to novice class, career mode, select the Sunday Cup. Before I do that, let's, uh, let's get these options the way I want them, because, oh my god. Alright, so let's see. Display everything. Full course map. Uh, that's all good. Steering controller. Scroll down to the wheel that I'm using, which is the Logitech G27. And let's just make sure everything is the way I want it to be. Uh, I want this to be the E brake. This will be. What will this be? Uh, da, 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 horn. I had like a system because I did a little test to see, remember uh, how this game started. So, yeah. Let's see. And then we put nitrous on this button. Then here, the bottom two buttons will be our left and right view. Because why not? There we go. Now I'm putting the tutorial on Sunday Cup together. Anyways. Uh, do, do, do. Don't really need to do anything with those buttons. That's good. L3. Let's make that the wipers. Actually. Let's see what these. Oh yeah, that's right, I need a reverse button. That's that's what I was put uh when to put this on. There we go. Reverse button. Alright. Wait no. Yeah, okay. Okay, sure that can be reverse. This will be that that and do 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 that. This this is many years later. How many years? I don't fucking know. Because, you know, the whole joke with, haha, I'm not playing this until, or, you want GT6? Well, you just delayed it for a year, that whole meme. Alright, sound. Mini BG. Music is fine. Let's get rid of the in game music. Because copyright. All that shit. So, there we go. That's good. Display is fine. Alright, got all my options set here, well, in this menu. Now, let's go to the novice area, because 
This game is set up completely differently than the previous five games and Taurus Trophy, in that there's different areas based on, like, I, I don't know what you call this, instead of, like, beginner, professional, blah, blah, blah. There's, you know, based on the licenses, basically, but we start with Novice. We have three championships here, a special coffee break challenge, and the National B license, which is locked because of the way this game progresses, which is pretty interesting, but I prefer the way the game progresses in GT1 through 4. But that's just me. Anyways, let's go to the Sunday Cup, because uh, also stars are a thing. You get stars for uh, completing winning races and stuff, because fuck it, I don't even know. But anyway, Sunday Cup. We have two races here, High Speed Ring and Autumn Ring Mini. So let's just get right into it. Here's our uh, entry requirements. Got a car, need a car with 430 performance points or less, which mine is 350, which is fine. Tire limitations, there's our prizes. Typical opponent list, only shows three cars, which is whatever. We can go to our garage and change our car, which since I have the anniversary edition of GT6, I have all the 15th anniversary cars. Whoa. I may or may not be using them, I don't know. Them, I don't know. I kind of want to avoid using those, but whatever. So, here we go. First race time. No price card for every cup on hype. No! Shh. So, yeah. Oh, hey, B spec option. By the way, there's B spec in this game. Guess what I'm never going to use? B spec. Fuck that shit. And also, since I don't have this uh, account set up to PSN, it shows my uh, nation flag as just nothing. Alright, manual transmission, driving line off, blind spot indicator off, active steer off, no trash control, no ABS, no skip recovery force, and turning my force feedback all the way to the minimum just because. Just, just because, so. Let's begin race one of the Sunday Cup six cars. Starting in last place. Let's do this, and we have a rolling start. <laughs> Hailing from the country, nothing! It is Ryan Button. Alright, here we go. Let us begin racing. And I'm going to be using my, uh... My stick shift as much as I can. Instead of the paddles for, uh, shifting. On the G27, so... Here we go. We're off to the races and stuff, so, um... Here... is where the game gets kind of meh, because, um... This game's really fucking easy. Veterans of the same, no. But, um, yeah, this game's really, really fucking easy. Like, the AI rubber banding is ridiculous, and I'm sure... We'll uh, see plenty of it throughout this LP, which is wonderful, but yeah. Going around the beetle here. Breaking into the S turn. Also, first race to high speed ring because fucking. High speed ring, favorite track ever. Do I own Race Pro? Yeah, I own Race Pro. I'm not going to be doing the seasonal events. This is just for the regular offline content. Because, yeah. And here we go. So yeah. And once again on the front straightaway, I'll cycle through the different cameras here. Full throttle. Hey, I thought I turned suggested gear off. Maybe I'm stupid. I swear I turned that off. I don't know. I'll fix. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Cause there's more options here. Uh, button navigation off. You don't suggest gear off. There we go. And then here we can uh, display all info. We can either display driver or car names. I'm going to stick with driver names. And other oh, shit. Alright. There. Now everything is uh, to my liking. So here's the cameras. Third person, which is one of the main cameras I'm going to be using. Then there's the bumper cam. In car cam for cars. Well, actually every car, but this car is a, uh, has a detailed interior. This is also one of the main cameras I'm going to be using. Then there's the roof cam, which doesn't really show much of this car. And there you go. So, hooray. So, as far as the HUD is concerned, pretty much the same as GT5. Slight uh, modifications to, like, the font in a couple spots. But overall, it's just 
a slightly improved version of the GT5 HUD. It actually shows the uh, current time on track up in the top left, as well as wetness percentage and all that jazz. I have everything else there as well. Interesting, interesting thing I kind of like about the uh, tire meter. It shows what tire or compound you're using, and also has a number indicator for uh, the wear. Unfortunately, this game is like GT5 in the fact that um, uh, fucking tire wear and fuel consumption aren't a thing until like you know the last races and stuff. So, correct. Into the final turn, hanging it on the bottom because I don't know because because I'm doing online lobbies. This bitch, this is a let's play. Not even, don't even have this account on PSN. Also, you know, look behind. Look left and right, across the line. I win! So, uh, I'm really hoping the, uh, audio is, uh, fine. Like, I hope you can hear me well and the game well at the same time. Hey, I got a trophy! First of many! Play for winning my first race, so yeah. And as always, I have to wait on the results for uh, everybody because I love to know where everybody finishes and how far behind. Because, yeah, so there we go. First race done, yay! Oh, yeah. And we get a replay. Hooray. It actually automatically plays after each race in this game. 4,420 credits for winning. And we got three stars for winning, for one for completing the race, one for finishing on the podium, one for winning. Hooray! One on my first attempt! I have major potential as a top-notch driver. Earn stars by starting your performance. Alright, let's clear all the novice class events. It's time now to go to the next race. And I'm sure we'll see more of that little tutorial thing. I don't know. Won't be much, but yeah. So there we go. The first race is done. So... Let us move on and finish, or do the second race. Start menu up on the top right, yes. But I've already done the shit in the start menu. You don't have to tell me, game. Anyways, to the second race at Autumn Ring Mini. For two, three laps, three laps. So yeah, there we go. So, how's everybody in the chat doing? <laughs> Having a good time? I know I've been completely ignoring everybody because I've been like, Focusing on the, you know, being professional and shit, but yeah. So let's see, what we got here for the Autumn Ring Mace? R Mace. We got an MX-5, Fiat Pachetta, Lupo, Nissan March, and I don't know what that Sarah is. Here's track conditions, which is really cool. Time of day, track temperature, water, type of circuit, how long it is, long as straight, elevation gap, all kinds of cool shit, and then there's prizes and shit, and yeah. So, here we go. Should probably put my shifter in the correct gear, because it was in fourth gear. I don't think uh, we're starting in fourth gear here. Actually, we're probably going to start in third. Yeah, we're starting in third. All right. Third gear, go. And uh, for each car with the uh, detailed interior, I am going to try to remember to uh, alternate between third person and interior view for races and stuff, so yeah. Hopefully I can remember to do that. Ah, it feels so nice to be actually driving in a GT game after fucking just hours upon hours upon hours of B-Spec in GT 5. Just holy shit. Working on a Raptor and Car Mechanic Sim, oh god. I like the, uh... If there's a, uh... Oh shit, might have locked up the brakes just a skosh there. What is this driving? I know, right? It's crazy, man. Sliding the tires. One thing they tried to greatly improve was make a more realistic uh, tire model in this game compared to GT5. And the screeching sounds are, um, they may be loud and annoying, but they're also quite realistic. Because these tires be screeching, you know? Yes, I am going for 100% completion. Man, 
a lot of people showed up for the beginning of this. Woo. Oh, shit. Alright. And there we go. I'm in the lead before we start the final lap. Hooray. I'm already fucking in the groove here. This feels great. Oh, my God. Now, I'm probably going to be complaining a lot about how this game is really short and really easy. I mean, I did a lot. I did that in fucking GT5, because we talked about that a lot. But, um, I still really like this game, and overall, I actually like this game more than GT5. 5 may have more race, well, actually not more races, but may have, like, longer races and stuff, but for an overall experience, I would say this game is better than GT5. It may have some things, or it may not have some things that it should have, that may be a little sad, but, you know, it's whatever. It's whatever. Anyways, hey, we won the Sunday Cup. Woo! Alright. I think the estimated time for this LP? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't remember how many uh, races are in this, like, championships are in this game, so, yeah. There we go. We have won. What version am I on? I'm on the latest, 1.22. 4,540 credits because fucking random ass numbers. We get three stars! And there we go. We have completed the tutorial and the Sunday Cup to start our wonderful Gran Turismo 6 LP. 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 So there we go. There's the gold trophies. We've unlocked the Amateur Cup for getting enough stars. Collecting enough stars. I believe four was needed. Uh, I seriously had to get interrupted at the worst fucking time. Anyways. So yeah, there's the Amateur Cup, and um... That's all we get. We don't get any like prize card or anything for the Sunday Cup. That's another thing about this game. It doesn't like to give you su prize cards. Anyways. That was, um, that was the first part of GT6, so, uh, hopefully uh, everything looked and sounded alright, and, uh, we'll, s yeah, stay tuned for more GT6 and the Clubman Cup or whatever was next.